What's going on everybody? Halo Drama here, back with another Rewind Rumble reaction. <clears throat> now this one should be good, but we'll see what happens. Gogeta Blue from Dragon Ball Super and Go versus Gogeta Super Saiyan 4 from Dragon Ball GT. I, this is where my mind automatically goes into giving it to giving it to Gogeta Blue because Gogeta Blue actually exists. Um, Super Saiyan 4 does not. That is make believe. I'm not saying it wasn't raw, but it's not real. I'm all about the canon type material. Not gonna say I never watched GT, but I did. But this is just not real. But anyway, enough of that. Let's see what happens. Dragon Ball Super versus Dragon Ball GT. Canon versus non canon. Just Super what I Saiyan said, right? Blue versus Super Saiyan 4. It's Gogeta Blue versus Gogeta SSJ4. Spoiler warning Gogeta is going to win this battle. Now, of course, you're probably wondering which Gogeta <laughs> comes out on <laughs> he top. Corny as Today, for that. We find that out. Today, we rewind Rumble. It's time for the anime exclusive Dragon Ball Gogeta. Instead of a fusion via earrings, Gogeta is formed via the fusion dance. Gogeta is famous for a significant boost in power and is known as one of the most powerful fighters in the anime series. Yeah, Gogeta is significantly is. known for his speed. He completely blitzes his foes such as Janemba, the same Janemba who is easily faster than Movie 10 Broly and Anime Kid Buu. This makes Gogeta, even in his base form, massively faster than the speed of light. Whoa, I don't know where the fuck he got that information from. Uh, first of all, Janemba is also not canon, so he's also not real. So to say that he can stand up to Kid Buu, which, don't get me wrong, he may be able to, there's no way to pinpoint that, because Janemba's not canon, so I don't know where the fuck he got that information from. Considering that he's easily faster than many FTL characters, he has the combined intelligence of both Goku and Vegeta and shares their personalities as well. His notable techniques include the Soul Punisher and the Big Bang Kamehameha. The Big Bang Kamehameha is the perfect fusion of Vegeta's Big Bang attack and Goku's signature Kamehameha. To give you a perspective of this blast power, it was so powerful that it caused Omega Shenron to regurgitate the Dragon Balls. The Soul Punisher is a spherical energy projectile that goes Gogeta can throw and send into his target's soul. This is a very effective technique if the target's soul is one that is not pure and weak to good intentions. Gogeta has many different transformations true. from Skinny Gogeta, Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, the Golden Grey Ape, and last but definitely not least, Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 is the ultimate form of Gogeta as seen in Dragon Ball GT, where Goku and Vegeta both faced off against Omega Shenron as the Super Saiyan 4 form. With the fusion dance, they successfully created one of the strongest warriors in the series. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is somewhat playful and cocky as he likes to toy with his enemies and acts somewhat irresponsibly during battle. Speaking of that, Gogeta's biggest weakness is his time limit and attitude. Goku and Vegeta can only last in the Gogeta form for a short amount of time, roughly 30 minutes. And while usually Fair this enough, is not a problem true. since they are so powerful they don't need the full fusion time, this is something that can be of concern going forward. Overall, Gogeta is held as one of the strongest fusion forms in the Dragon Ball universe. While he does have a time limit, he is so powerful that this is almost never a concern. Gogeta's story fair in point. the Broly movie is one that is born from desperation, but ends in glory. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Goku and Vegeta were running out of options to take out that legendary Super Saiyan, and they needed to throw a Hail Mary. Vegeta already had to do a ton of pride swallowing to fuse with Goku under Vegito, but this time, he had to take the next step and do a dance in order to fuse. This took a ton of personal willpower for Vegeta to musk up the confidence to do such a thing. And lo and behold, they needed multiple tries. And thus, one of the greatest battles and one of the greatest battle themes was about to take place. Gogeta versus Broly. A Broly yeah, with an actual personality and wasn't just a plot device. Gogeta in his base form was able to dodge attacks from Super Saiyan C-type Broly and overpower him in his own Super Saiyan state. The power of Gogeta's punches were so immensely powerful, these Saiyans were able to break through space and time, sending them to a different dimension. Now before any of you low-balling Dragon Ball skeptics come out of the woodworks and 
and tell me that this was just some fancy animation effects, Gogeta made it very clear that they were no longer in the same place they were before these punches. This soon forced Broly to transform into the legendary Super Saiyan. Gogeta was still That's able to counter him, him by using Super Saiyan Super Blue, Saiyan. pummeling him but, until okay. Gogeta nearly killed Broly with a limit Ultra Kamehameha. Gogeta's power was enough to earn praise from Whis, deeming his attacks truly magnificent. It should be noted that once Gogeta turned blue, Broly became 100% incapable of landing a single solid attack on Gogeta, only landing in clashes that often favored Gogeta. Of course, all cool fusions have their limitations. Yeah, that's true. The Gogeta, Gogeta form beat can the only shit last for 30 minutes and <laughs> offers a slightly different personality than Vegito. Gogeta rarely ever speaks during battle, save for brief taunts. Similar to Vegeta, Gogeta can be ruthless once he has been determined to face a foe and seen such a foe as a threat and will show no hesitation in eliminating them as seen during the final moments of his battle against Broly. Now like Goku, Broly was shown mercy. And now... Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say because I straight drifted off and forgot. I 420 a lot, don't mind me. Um... Uh, probably the reason Gogeta rarely ever talks during a fight is because the only time, the only times Gogeta has been seen, the canon Gogeta, was in a movie, and even the non-canon first version of Gogeta that fought Janemba was non-canon, but it's a movie. They have to get to the. It's, it's not like the series where they can drag it out. They it's a movie. They have to get to the point and get to it fast. You know, you know, and uh, resolve the plot and shit like that. That's why Gogeta doesn't talk that much. I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin. Oh, if Super Saiyan 4 wins this, he's going to come up with a bunch of fake reasons as to why that happened, because Super Saiyan 4 is going to But, see, you should still be slick, though. Super Saiyan Blue, Cannon Gogeta for the win. And he does have God Key, so that may have played a factor in it. And the winner is Gogeta. Sorry, but Gogeta loses. Sure, Gogeta is powerful, but Gogeta is way more powerful than Gogeta. I get that Gogeta has great feats, but Gogeta is just far better when it comes to feats. All confusion aside, Gogeta Blue does beat Gogeta SSJ4 in a fight. Dragon Ball Super's Gogeta Blue has done something that Dragon Ball GT's Gogeta has never done, and that's punched so hard that they can break through space and time and send themselves and their targets into a new dimension. SSJ4 
also Gogeta acquired Gogeta might not God have a counter for that. And while you could argue that GT Gogeta has more experience, while I would agree that GT Gogeta has had more experience while being Gogeta, Goku and Vegeta themselves has overall more fighting experience in Dragon Ball Super than GT Goku and Vegeta. So it kind of counters That's itself just... out. Maybe GT would have beaten a Dragon Ball Super version of Gogeta if DBS Gogeta didn't have a Gogeta Blue form. But that's clearly not the case. Making the winner of this rumble, Gogeta Blue. On the net. I'm gonna need this guy to stop talking about Dragon Ball GT and shit. All nonchalantly like this shit's real. The motherfucker lost because he's fake. The blue one is real. Anyway. That was that was a slick ass fight. Like I said, I had to root for Gogeta Blue because he actually exists. Where Super Saiyan Four doesn't. So any kind of GT power scaling that he ever tries to talk about, or anybody ever tries to talk about, I don't listen to that shit because it's not real. It's not canon. Never has been. Never fucking will be. Anybody wants to argue that, which a couple people have been lately, but doesn't make you any less wrong. But it is what it is. On to the next time when I have time. So until then. Peace.